This is the case of John Benet Ramsey on the day after Christmas in Boulder, Colorado. On December 26, 1996, at 5.52 a.m., Patsy Ramsey calls 911. 911 emergency. Oh, we need him. Police. What's going on? 515 Street. What's going on there, ma'am? We have a kidnapping. All right, please. Can you explain to me what's going on, okay? There, we have a, there's a note left in our daughter's gone. A note was left in your daughter's yes. gone? How old is your daughter? Six years old. She's blind. Six years old. How long ago was it? I don't know. I just found the note. Oh my God, it's Does it say who took her? What? Does it say who took her? No. I don't know. It's, there's, a, there's a ransom note here. It's a ransom note? It says FBTC. Victory. Please. Okay, what's your name? Are you Kathy Ramsey? I'm the mother. Oh my God. Okay, I'm sending an officer over, okay? Please. Do you know how long she's been gone? No, I don't. Please, we just got out and she right here. Oh my God, please. Okay, well, this somebody. I am, honey. Please. Take a deep breath, please. Away, okay? Hurry, hurry, hurry. Patsy, 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 Patsy. Her daughter, John Benet, is missing from their home. She realized this after finding a ransom note. The ransom note read, Mr. Ramsey, listen carefully. We are a group of individuals who represent a small foreign faction. We respect your business, but not the country that it serves. At this time, we have your daughter in our possession. She is safe and unharmed. If you want her to see 1997, you must follow the instructions of the letter. You withdraw 118000 from your account. It will be in $100 bills and the remaining $18,000 in $20 bills. Make sure that you're bringing adequate size attache to the bank. When you get home, you will put the money in a brown paper bag. I will call you between 8 and 10 a.m. tomorrow to instruct you on delivery. The delivery will be exhausting, so I advise you to be rested. If we monitor you getting the money early, we might call you early to arrange an earlier delivery of the money and hence an earlier delivery pickup of your daughter. Any deviation of my instructions will result in the immediate execution of your daughter. You will also be denied her remains for proper burial. The two gentlemen watching over your daughter do not particularly like you, so I advise you not to provoke them. Speaking to anyone about your situation, such as police, FBI, etc., will result in your daughter being beheaded. If we catch you talking to a stray dog, she dies. If you alert bank authorities, she dies. If the money is in any way marked or tampered with, she dies. You will be scanned for electronic devices, and if any are found, she dies. You can try to deceive us, but be warned that we are familiar with law enforcement countermeasures and tactics. You stand a 99% chance of killing your daughter if you try to outsmart us. Follow our instructions, and you stand a 100% chance of getting her back. You and your family are under cut constant scrutiny as well as the authorities. Don't try to grow a brain, John. You are not the only fat cat around, so don't think that killing will be difficult. Don't underestimate us, John. Use that good southern common sense of yours. It is up to you now, John. Victory, SBTC. Two police officers arrive on the scene within three minutes of the 911 call. Officers search the home, but one officer stops at a locked cellar door with a wood latch. He says he was looking for a spot that an intruder could exit, and it wouldn't have been there because the latch on the outside of the door. More law enforcement and family that was called begin to arrive, and police inspect John Bonet's room for clues because they believe at this time that she was kidnapped. Only John Bonet's room was closed off to prevent contamination, and as family began to arrive and console the Ramseys, they walked throughout the house and they started to clean and wipe surfaces in the kitchen, destroying most of the evidence left behind as they anxiously awaited ki the kidnappers' next instructions. While waiting, Detective Linda Arndt instructs John Ramsey and a friend to search the home again to see if anything seemed amiss. They first began their search in the basement 
and they checked behind the latch door when they immediately found John Bonet. John Bonet was found bludgeoned to death in this room. Her mouth was covered with duct tape. A nylon cord was found around her wrists and neck, and her torso was covered by a white blanket. John picked up the child's body and took it upstairs. When John Bonet was moved, the crime scene was further contaminated and critical forensic evidence was disturbed for the returning forensics team. The autopsy revealed that John Bonet had been killed by strangulation and a skull fracture. The official cause of death was asphyxia by strangulation associated with craniocerebral trauma. There was no evidence of conventional RAPE, although SA could not be ruled out. Although no semen was found, there was evidence there had been a vaginal injury. At the time of the autopsy, the pathologist recorded that it appeared her vaginal area had been wiped with a cloth. Her death was ruled a homicide. A garrote that was made from a length of nylon cord and the broken handle of a paintbrush was tied around John Bonet's neck and had apparently been used to strangle her. Part of the bristle end of the paintbrush was found in a tub containing Patsy's art supplies, but the bottom third of it was never found despite extensive searching of the house by the police in the subsequent days. The autopsy revealed a vegetable or fruit material which may represent pineapple, which John Bonet had eaten a few hours before her death. Photographs of the home taken on the day when John Bonet's body was found show a bowl of pineapple on the kitchen table with a spoon in it. However, neither John nor Patsy said they remembered putting the bowl on the table or feeding pineapple to, to John Bonet. Police reported that they found John Bonet's nine year old brother, Burke Ramsey's fingerprints, on the bowl. The Ramseys always said that Burke slept through the entire night until he was awakened several hours after the police arrived. John Bonet's killer has never been found, but there has been many theories. Some believe it was an intruder because there was a person or two who had access to the Ramsey home and also because Patsy Ramsey used to give tours of her home for their Christmas decorations and people believe somebody have met left the window latch open or something of that nature. Also, a lot of people believe that the killer could be from her own family and inside the home. Uh, the ransom note contained uh, the specific amount that they asked for was I believe the amount of John Ramsey's Christmas bonus there was also some movie quotes that he liked that were in the, ran the ransom note and other things of that nature 